If you go all the way back to its inception, Thomas Cook began servicing tourists way back in the mid-1800s. Since then, it's grown to become a juggernaut and one of the world's most trusted travel groups, carrying millions of passengers and employing tens of thousands of people. But on September 23rd, 2019, the company folded. So what happens now to their planes? Let me explain. At the time of its liquidation, Thomas Cook had 37 aircraft in its fleet. This includes A320s, A330s, 757s, and 767s. What's to become of three of those 37 jets is pretty straightforward. They'll be sold off as quickly as possible to pay back Thomas Cook's creditors. The other 34 aircraft face a more uncertain future. As it turns out, Thomas Cook doesn't actually own many of the assets that you would typically associate with an airline. Aside from those three aforementioned jets, Thomas Cook doesn't own any of its planes. They are all wet leased. Think of a wet lease as an all-in-one package. While a dry lease means that a carrier is just leasing an airplane, a wet lease includes maintenance, cabin crews, and insurance from a third-party airline. So, under their agreement, Thomas Cook doesn't just lease its planes, it also leases personnel from Lesser's Avion Express and Skylinks. The reason that Thomas Cook would wet lease their aircraft instead of buying them outright and training their own cabin personnel is because their business is highly seasonal. Unlike traditional airlines who are propped up by business travel during down months, Thomas Cook's revenue stream is driven entirely by tourism. The wet lease gives them much more flexibility to adjust their operations based on factors such as season and the strength of the global economy, even though it's generally more costly. So when Thomas Cook stopped paying the bills, the lessers had the right to repossess their aircraft and their crews, which is exactly what happened. This is one of the reasons why so many travelers were stranded in the wake of the collapse. Thomas Cook no longer had the legal right to use the aircraft necessary to ferry their customers back home. So what will become of these jets? Well, the lessers will just start putting them to use with other airlines. Considering how many airlines are currently plagued with fleet shortages due to the 737 MAX groundings and the ongoing issues with Trent 1000 engines on 787 aircraft, these lessers will have no trouble finding airlines willing to dry lease their planes. So, the coming months will see the planes undergo a transformation where they are repainted and the cabins updated to match the specifications of their new airlines. However, many of the airlines that might want to lease these jets are just that, they're airlines. They already have the requisite personnel, maintenance infrastructure, and insurance in place to just plug and play once the aircraft are ready. As such, they have no real need for the crews who were also wet leased to Thomas Cook. Unfortunately, their future is a lot less secure than those of the aircraft. That being said though, I'm sure they'll find work soon, considering the pilot shortage we find ourselves in that's going to get progressively worse throughout the years. But that's a topic for another video. If you learned something new today, leave a like and subscribe to keep learning. And until I see you again, don't forget to look up.